there's this idea out there that if insurgents or a militarily inferior or smaller force is able to penetrate or inflict damage against a major power. That can only be because someone lets them. Because either it's an inside job or it's a false flag. And therefore, the only way October 7th could have happened was because the Israelis wanted it to happen. Just, just like the Roosevelt wanted Pearl Harbor to happen. But from a military point of view, isn't it really the case that it's always easier to inflict damage, to guarantee invulnerability from damage? It is. I think that the problem that people have is they have very simplistic notions about who we fight. You're always going to be fighting a thinking enemy. The Taliban may have been blowing up historic statues, but when, you know, they're smart people. They know how to fight asymmetrically. They, they proved it against the Soviets. They proved it against us. You find the vulnerability and then you attack it because it's, it's what they call asymmetrical warfare. Our weakness as the United States is not anything having to do with technology or the quality of our forces. It's the national strategic will. That's our weakness. And that will always be told.